Jack Parsons with WTV News, and we are at the 10th annual Nova Scotia Hopscotch Festival, showcasing local hip hop from around the province. We started Hopscotch Festival 10 years ago now, this is the decade edition, and I wanted to celebrate the four elements of hip-hop, which is graffiti, it is b-boying, it's emceeing, and DJing. The celebration of hip-hop is just unity, it's, it's love, it's respect, and so it's something that we, we really enjoy putting together each year. We will have b-boys battling to start off the night, we will have DJs uh, battling tonight, we have murals happening right now. Yes, uh, hip-hop's always been big here somehow, all the way on the east coast of Canada. I love Hopscotch, you're dead baby! While the four elements of hip-hop are all on showcase at Hopscotch, each one has its own roots in distinct communities. Graffiti, for example, is still very much underground, where artists paint illegally. Other elements, such as dance, have found homes in mainstream culture. Jordan Farmer is a producer and all-styles dancer. This year at Hopscotch, Farmer won the title in the all-styles dance battle. Since the first year, I was teaching uh, popping workshops at Parade Square over there, the whole community. The dance battles were crazy, um, the workshops were unreal, and like that weekend was when I was like, all right, the festival in this city is like my favorite weekend. So I think I've, I've been to eight out of ten of them so far. Now we're kind of going more up class and things are getting a little bit nicer. We have all the screens and the room for a real concert that a lot of people are going to get drawn into more. So I think it's a good change and it's going to help the community grow more. It's all ages events, so it's great for the family. Good for, I think it's just good for the community. When Hopscotch first began in 2010, it was held in Dartmouth Cove by the local graffiti wall in a series of back alleys. This was the first year it was held right in the middle of downtown in the newly opened Rogers Square. To Farmer's point, it shows the growth of the community and represents the positive relationship between the hip-hop community and the city of Halifax. At the end of the day, the underground scene in every realm, I think every city is always going to strive because there's that there's that market that doesn't care about the mainstream, mainstream hip-hop, whether it's some new genre or something that people don't really understand, they're always going to have their music, you're always going to have your version, you know what I mean? People get a little too specific over what hip-hop is. At the end of the day, hip-hop celebration of life, celebration of love, unity, respect, and it's, an, it's just a great, powerful music. Love, unity, and respect. These ideas are the foundations of hip-hop, and all were on display at Hopscotch. Whether it's musically, lyrically, through paint, or on the dance floor, Hip Hop in Nova Scotia has a place for you, and it doesn't appear to be going anywhere anytime soon. For In the Scope, I'm Jack Parsons, WTV News.